what's up guys and welcome back to another video right onto my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix it issue if you have freezing problems in destiny 2 this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial so stick to the end yes and in the end you'll probably know what to do about it so before we start running to the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right onto my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber here on my journey on youtube especially subscribing would be a massive support for me and it's free for you guys so it will really support my, uh, my work right here i'm gonna thank you for that right now and i would just say let's get right started so the first step is going to be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut on ever getting down to your taskbar right clicking it and opening it up once you did that i want you to basically um go to every single program which is currently having too much cpu or gpu usage and basically just right click it and end the task so first you're going to click cpu and you're going to see which one is currently having too much impact and you're going to obviously close them down if they're not related to windows next step is going to be to do the same thing for your gpu and once you finish here you're going to close this one down um next step is going to be to open up your uh, display settings by right clicking an empty spot on your monitor and going to display settings once you're here you're going to stick to display and uh identify which your main monitor is um once you identified your main monitor you're going to go down and hit scale and layout where you're going to go to display resolution here you're going to basically just uh apply your in-game resolution so if you have in-game in like 1720 by 1070 you can apply this also to your display resolution once you finish here you're going to close this one down and the next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen opening up your settings what i want you to do right here is going to be to click on gaming and stick to the xbox game bar what I want you to do is obviously turn it off because especially in low-end PCs this will come without any benefit and it really uh, will impact your um, yeah your performance so turn it off next step is going to be to go to captures and uh, go to background recording go to record in the background while playing a game and turn it off because obviously if this is turned on you don't really know uh, notice it it uh, it will just record every single game for two hours in the background and you rule and it will impact your game and will lead to freezes so turn this off and if you want to record something you're probably not going to use windows for that if you're finished you're going to go back to your main settings and hit update in security i, I uh, you're going to stick to windows update i know guys it will really sound basic but it will really impact you and it's really important to download the latest version of your windows because especially if you're outdated this will lead to freezing so download the latest version it will also uh, impact your main performance because it will um, it will provide the best possible performance for your game and for your system so download it same as for your graphics card so download the latest version of your graphics card doesn't really matter if you have amd nvidia whatever just go to the application go to the browser and download the latest version in order to provide the best possible performance and you can come along with updates yeah guys that's it for the video i hope i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna thank you for that right now and yeah guys i'm sorry if it didn't help you but i'm just gonna do my best it helped for me and help other guys so um yeah either way i hope you have a wonderful day see you at the next one and bye